Welcome to this week's Resistance Download. Uh, title is Ball. Uh, this is a little ball that I have from actually coaching uh, students in soccer. And uh, I love to coach. And really, as a pastor, sometimes it's hard to get out of uh, kind of my Christian bubble, so to say. You know, I'm in church. I'm at church on the weekends. Uh, my, uh, you know, I work at a church. Uh, everything I do, the interns I work with, to the uh, staff that I help teach and train, to the small group leaders that I invest in, uh, they are primarily, I'm around church and in church. And so uh, I have to force myself to do things to get myself uncomfortable and around people that don't have a relationship with God. And one of the ways that I have really found for me uh, is to serve in the area of coaching soccer. So I volunteer for my son's uh, team to coach. I also help my daughter's team. And it's been a great outlet for me. And this whole download is all about how can you and I get involved and get in places where we enjoy being there. Maybe they're out of our comfort zone a little bit, but they cause us to rub shoulders with and be around people uh, that don't have a relationship with the Lord. So another thing I do is I love going to Starbucks to study. Uh, and I just did that today, actually, and I had a chance to connect with two or three people, uh, a couple that I've never met before. And it's a great opportunity to be around people that are far from God. Now, you may be in a context where you're always around people that are far from God, or you may be in a context where you're in that environment, but you don't have the opportunity to share uh, very often. So I would encourage you, find a way for you to get out of your comfort zone. Find a way for you to serve somewhere where you can use your talents and you can use your abilities in a way that's going to put you in proximity with people that are far from God and give you a chance to share the good news of Christ with them. I know even this last Easter, I've had a chance to invite tons of people from my team uh, to come to church. And not just that, I've had great spiritual conversations with parents and with students that I coach because I'm simply around them a lot. And they see me and they ask questions. and They wonder why I do certain things the way I do and why do I act a certain way and why do I treat certain things a certain way and why do I, you know, all these different questions. And I wanna encourage you as you do life and as you choose to serve somewhere and to invest your life, you're gonna find that you're gonna get around proximity with other people that need God, that are looking for God, and they're gonna to begin to ask questions. It's gonna open up an opportunity for the good news of Jesus to be shared with them. There's a great verse of scripture I actually taught uh, over a Good Friday, and it says these words in Matthew chapter 20, verse 28, just as the Son of Man, speaking of Jesus, did not come to be served. Now, he's God in the flesh. He had every right to come to earth and for us to serve him hand and feet, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. And then it says these powerful words in Matthew later on, chapter 28, verse 18, then Jesus came to the disciples and said, all authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I command you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. It's interesting. Jesus didn't say sit. He didn't say stay. He didn't say get comfortable and make disciples. He said go. And you and I are called and commanded to serve our community, to go and make a difference, to be involved somewhere. Figure out what that is for you. But go and serve, go and be involved. Rub shoulders with people that are far from God. Some of them may know God, but many of the others will not. Close to 95% of the people that live in the Bay Area here where we live do not have a personal relationship with Jesus. So get out of your comfort zone, connect with people, and don't just serve them to lead them to Jesus. Serve them because people matter to God. And because they matter to God, He wants you to have opportunities to speak life and hope into their current situations. So I wanna encourage you this week, Find a place to serve where you can be around people that do not have a relationship with God and do that at least a few times a month so you can build relational bridges that will help connect people to Christ. I love you and believe in you. I look forward to seeing you next time.